hardest thing in homesteading and living this lifestyle is just sometimes you don't feel very good. I've been dealing with a cold for the last week now. Some of you may have noticed it. But stuff has to get done. And if you don't do it for one day, you end up having so much more to do the next day. I'm really working on decluttering my house and giving some things that I no longer need to those who do need it. I'm really focusing on keeping things in my house at more of a minimal. And I'm really learning these things because it helps me run my household so much smoother. And so I'm going to share with you today, Saturday video, a subscriber has asked me a little bit about my Berkey water filter. So I'm going to share with you about the Berkey and just share with you some other things that I am working on this week. Berkey water filter. So the top is filled with water and once a week I go ahead and I fill the top up with water and that is what we use for our cooking. You lift it up and all of the filtered water is below it. You have a spigot at the bottom for my cooking water. And I use this for water that we need here at the house. The Berkey water filters are not that cheap, but they will last a lifetime. And the amount of water that these filters will run through would last me many, many, many years. So I really love the Berkey water filter. And I would highly recommend it if you want to have water that's filtrated of kinds of harmful bacteria. We have our own well here on the homestead, so I don't know what it's like for city water, but I'm sure some of my subscribers could maybe answer that question. So, I love my Berkey water filter. So far, nobody has said anything to me about this thing. And this has been a life-changing thing. This has been a life-changing appliance, and I'll share with you why. A subscriber of mine, a gentleman, who I will not say who he is, but I'll give you a hint. He comments on every single video that I ever make. And he comments right when the video comes out. He bought me this back in November. And let me tell you, this thing is amazing. It is a dishwasher. It's a portable, on-the-counter dishwasher. And the reason why this has been so helpful to me is my water, I have to haul out by hand. And in the normal course of washing dishes, I go through 10 gallons of water. This I can use once a day, and it only takes two and a half to three gallons of water. I also do not have any hot water here in my kitchen. This heats up my water, so I can sanitize my things really easy. I do wash my own dishes, and I do heat my own water, but this has helped me tremendously, especially when I'm making videos and I have to clean up my kitchen really quickly in order to get another video started. This has helped me in ways that people just could not ever understand. I still have to haul out the water with it, but it's only half the amount of water. And being able to have extremely hot water really has helped me. You know that I love an old-fashioned way of living. And I love to have an old-fashioned home. But every once in a while, it's good to have something that's more modern it helps you out. And the older I get, the more I need to have a few shortcuts here and, and there in life. I do a lot of work. I do a lot of physical manual labor. And having an appliance like this has really helped me in so much. Also, my water pressure is extremely low. But this is made to work with a low water pressure. So it doesn't matter how long it takes for the water to fill up. It's made for that. And oh, that is so nice. All of this food I got before my zero spend. And my zero spend really has helped me in using up some of my supplies. So this is ground paprika. I was able to get it half off at one of the stores. And I think it was the Dollar General. So I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to put them all in glass jars. I store all of my food in glass jars. And I use a lot of paprika for the spice mixes that I make. So, this was actually a salad dressing jars that my friend Sue saves for me, and I love these jars. I think these are my favorite jars, the Marie, the Marie salad dressings. A little bit of my own paprika last year, and it worked out really well, so I'm hoping this year to make more of my own. 
All right, so now we have them done, and we want to make sure we label it paprika so we know what it is. So I got to get my pen here and I got to label it. My daughter gave me these granola. Now, granola is something that you cannot really store long term because of the nuts in it, and nuts go rancid rather quickly. But we're going to use this granola and we're going to put it in one of these so my hubby can eat it for breakfast. So we're going to put the granola in here. It's organic. It's really good quality. And I might use it for some of my breads that I make. But we're going to put it in here so we actually eat it. So we got 99 cents. My daughter got it. This would be great on top of apple pie filling. In fact, that's what I'm going to use it for. So there is the granola. Now we got that finished. We're just moving right along into our next job to get everything cleaned up in here and it's starting to look better already. I just want to let you know that I'm feeling so much better and I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. I'm leaving this video to share with you a tribute of my granddaughters and I hope you enjoy them as much as I enjoyed making it. Life is like a roller coaster. We hang on tight. Life is fun and exciting and we're laughing. But it's scary. It's scary, but yet it's fun. And the emotions run high. But it's a wonderful life that we live, even though at times it's not very fun. And at times it does get very scary. And at times it gets sad but yet we hang on tight and we hold on tight even though we're scared and even though we have to cry it's still a fun ride that we are on and soon we realize that if we keep hanging on tight we're having fun again and we can laugh and we can smile my friends life is fun live it live it in the moment